Marilyn, why haven't your expectations quite changed quite so much relative to the incoming information of the first three months of this year? Yeah, good morning. Um, so, uh, obviously, at the beginning of this year, there were very, very um, aggressive uh, rate cuts priced in, which, you know, almost you know, seven at the beginning of the year, six or seven. Now the market is pricing in actually, you know, less than two if you look at Fed Fund futures. I think, you know, we think it's reasonable to still expect that there may be a couple this year, but there is a lot of data to come. Um, it's possible that they may cut in June, but I think, you know, throughout this year, the Fed has been emphasizing um, in its communications over and over again that they want to see more data, that they are data dependent. And I think particularly when you do look at the economic data that's been coming through, it has been very resilient in terms of economic activity, in terms of the labor market, which is, you know, is cooling, but has actually, you know, remained, you know, surprisingly strong, I think, for many um, observers. And then, of course, when you look at the inflation data, um, and obviously the Fed has a dual mandate, when you look at the inflation data, then actually it has remained above consensus expectations, you know, for the past three months, particularly if you take the CPI data last week, when you look at the services component of the inflation data, then that really is the component that's actually supporting uh, and keeping inflation um, higher than expected. So I think we do expect at the beginning of this year to see rates higher for longer. Um, and so we do still think that it's, you know, highly likely that there will be some cuts this year. But, um, you know, I think two-ish is, is probably pretty reasonable at this point.